Kuno Leo. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Kuno. Kuno Leo. And uh, today I'm gonna show you the INI INI saving feature thing. So, yeah, I got this setup right here. Imagine, like, oh, this is a character select screen, you know, like multiple save data or whatever in your game. So, I got this guy. This is gonna be like. This is gonna represent like the playable character, right? And we got like, oh, this is a level, which level you're on in the game, you know? And uh, the amount of money or whatever. And this, uh, this uh, counter, the red one, it like decides what player is on the screen, you know? After adding like all the, the, the counters, go to the Ini. We just put it right there, beautiful. I already made a group. If you don't know how to make a group, it's insert and like group of events. You can name it and it's like it's only a little tab thing you can open and close it. Keep things organized, you know. But we start with a starter frame and we want to like uh, set current like current file, right? So th this is going to be like the save file, right? So um, what we want to call this, okay, um, imagine this is like, like, like um, for example, if you have multiple games, it'd be like save data nice but if you have like um, have another project that has the has a any save feature and you name it save data too they will share like the same save you know saves uh, thing you know it can be cool for some projects you know if you want to like migrate like uh, some features over to another game you know like imagine like a Pokemon red and blue you know that kind of stuff but um, I don't. You you know what I mean. Cool game. Save. There we go. Yeah. Start a frame. It's gonna like set the current. Bah. Like it, it creates it. If if it isn't there, it creates it. And uh, I like to do is like make another one. Because it, for some reason for me, like if I have like a the set current file and like a, yeah, because we want like a, to take information from the ini. And put it on our counters, right? So w when I do like everything on the same like start of frame, sometimes it's like bugs out for me. This thing first, and then it does the other thing. Yeah, you know, like a uh, player picked. Okay, so we want to set this counter, set counter. We get this window right here, you know. We take the ini. <laughs> we get a value from item, right? Because if we want like a number from like a, a thing. So don't forget like uh, the, the, the four like, you know, the dot things. Let's uh, call it like player, right? Player. So the player, like money. Okay, let's just copy paste that one because we we already did it once. So we just edit this and we're like, let's call this money. Easy peasy. And then the level, just copy paste that again. Why make it hard for ourselves? And uh, level. Right? So uh, every time we start the frame, uh, you're gonna take like the save file, you're gonna launch like the save file in it, you're gonna like put it in the game, and then when it's in the game, it's gonna take the information from the player, which player we have picked, the amount of money we have, and the level. But we also want it to like save. You know, like to save that uh, information too. So, like, end of frame. You know, like when we jump over to like another part of the game, we, we're gonna tell um, the ini file to save the information on these. So we do that by a set value item because uh, it's an item. You know, like the item name. Okay, so we name the player player, right? Okay. And what value? Like, oh, yeah, but uh, we want to take, take right click the player and the current value of that one. Right? So the current value of the player picked is gonna like get stored in the save file. And at the beginning of this, uh, in the beginning of this level, it's gonna take that player saved information and put it into the player thing right so now we do this like a few more times and it's gonna double click on this copy paste it 
because I'm lazy. Now we're gonna double click it again, like on the second one, to like edit. And then uh, money. And this time we're gonna take this money and use the current one. Same goes for this one. What are we gonna do? Level. Take the level information, current value. There we go. Now we'll go back here. So now it will save the information. So every time we click on that, it kind of goes up. And as I showed you earlier, like, as you can see now, it's on zero, right? It, de it, it decides what player we have. So zero is this guy. One will be this guy. Just one is this guy. Two is this guy. And four is this guy, right? We, we want it so, like, it, it goes up. But when... Uh, when it goes to 5, right, so uh, current uh, value is 5. I like to take like 5 or greater, just, just because, you know. When it's 5 or greater, it will reset back to 0. For, maybe for you guys it's going to be like something else, but uh, we do it like this is the player, right, test cube. I'm going to set it in this direction because that's the, the green guy and then we guys gonna we're gonna just the uh, turn it around all the way you know so if, if we try this out now we click our character like yeah yeah who we're we gonna play as you know look at this it saved our, our chosen character Okay, now you can't see my cursor, but uh, I'm clicking on uh, on the guy. So okay, we wanted to save that thing. Like, yeah. so now we got this set up right here. It looks neat. It looks tidy. So uh, we're just gonna copy all that and go to the level one. Bam! Got all our info here. And then this, this is a. Uh, I forgot one thing. I wanna so let's see if this works because uh, I have like movement for this guy. So let's see. Oh yeah, okay. Now we're playing as this guy. Yeah, this guy is uh, overlapping himself. No, uh, overlapping money. The money will destroy, and you'll. Uh, Add uh, one, uh, one to the money. Simple, because w when you do have like, a, I usually do this like on the title screen stuff. I, I get all the counters ready. You know, like money, um, like uh, the level player. You know, I have like one uh, frame where I have everything, like all the counters, like all the, the things I need to have saved. You know, I have one frame and I make like one of these. You know, like groups. And I just copy paste that group to all the frames in my project. That way I don't like that way I just have to like do like this. I add one to the counter. And like because I have this save info thing up here, like it, it will just keep track of like the, the 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 save functionality and stuff, you know. We're at level one, right? And since we're on level one, you see well like up there, we're on level one. We don't want it to like uh, take the, that number thing at the beginning we want it to set it to one because we're on level one right so, okay i want to play as the uh, angry dude start uh use the arrows he, he continued going down for some reason it's because uh yeah i i get one i i know i understand why so the money, like next, level two. Mm, I know why it's going down, because uh, I set the direction to go down instead of like the animation. Hey guys, I hope this helped you and uh, I'm off to uh, mind my own business. I don't know. Bye.